Thanks for joining us today. My name is Cindy Patel with ISOS Technology. I'm a senior biz dev rep here, and I also have Nick Nader, our senior solutions engineer, and we're going to talk about insight asset management today. So insight asset management, where does it come into play? I think as organizations really start utilizing Jira service management, they have a tough time tracking the different assets, being able to associate or relate to tickets and make sure that the right information is being captured. At the same time, there's a lot of configurations, inventory, things like that, that they'd like to track against tickets that it just wasn't there before, you know, Atlassian acquired inside asset management. Would you say so, Nick? Yeah. And there's a lot of different use cases, right? That customers should struggle with, like, how do I open up a ticket against the laptop that's on my desk right now if I can't see what that laptop is? And then once I enter that ticket, do the agents have all the available information around that asset? Is our process internally automated specifically regarding that asset or configuration item? So there's a lot of different use cases that our customers struggle with that I think asset and configuration management could really help with. So I think some of the gaps that organizations faced before was when Insight was a plugin, it was a separate tool. It was an add-on in the marketplace before Atlassian acquired them back in July of last year. And I think as Atlassian has done that acquisition to kind of match up with some of the other tools in the industry that have asset management out of the box, it's really helped deliver a more integrated approach and streamline some of that functionality. Some of those things can definitely help organizations utilize the tool a lot better. And I think that's an area that um, they've done quite a bit. Wouldn't you say so, Nick? Absolutely. They've really pulled it into the tool. It now comes at that premium tier of Jira service management. So it just toggles on if you have a premium subscription and license subscription to JSM. And it really just just acts as that data modeling tool, like exclusive database for any assets, any configuration items, really anything that you'd like to track. It's a very open and malleable tool. We've seen customers, you know, track their Jira configuration within Insight Asset Management uh, or something like faculty and students for our higher education customers. So it's, you know, it used to act as a standalone product, but now it comes with that JSM subscription at premium tier and they're improving the functionality pretty much day in and day out. Uh, originally, the cloud product only had CSV import. They've now pulled their auto discovery tool, which essentially maps all of those IP configured devices on your network. And they've pulled it out, that up into the cloud. And now that's available with the product. So they're really improving that importing functionality. You can use JSON, you can use CSV still. And I believe importing functionality, you can use JSON, you can use CSV still. And I believe in their public cloud roadmap, they've talked about extending that importing even even further to automatically synchronize with other cloud databases like Azure, like AWS, and like Google's cloud. So we're seeing that come up and we're seeing them make continual improvements on the Insight tool so that you have all of your assets just synced in your asset Insight asset database uh, live and automatically, and you don't have to do any of that manual updating, which a lot of people struggle with and uh, consumes a lot of time for them. So this is, I think, an area that we really excel here at ISOS. As the current ITSM partner of the year, we've done a lot of these implementations over the years around Jira service management with Insight for organizations. And we've taken those examples and years of experience and really solidified that into a playbook that helps us come into an organization, get their service desk set up with asset management, configure both of those things and get them integrated so they're up and running within a short time frame and able to utilize that functionality. And, and, and capture and track against all those assets and configurations. And I think, you know, Nick, you can definitely talk to more of some of those examples, but I would say that, you know, we've really put that into a process that works for organizations and can get them up and running very quickly. Yeah, exactly, Sandeep. It's really just part of our implementation cadence at this point for Jira service management. You know, almost every team has some kind of use case that would fit into the Insight asset and configuration management piece. We work with a lot of the automation rules on the back end now that Insight is tied into automation so that we can automate things like regular maintenance against your hardware or updating and regular maintenance against your software that will automatically generate JSM tickets on maybe a monthly or quarterly basis so that those things are kicked off automatically and you don't 
don't have to go into the tool and manually determine, oh, okay, this piece of hardware or this piece of software, you know, needs an update or needs maintenance. Uh, and then we do also a lot of things by pushing those assets out to your customer portal forms. Uh, that way, if you're doing things like provisioning laptops to employees or supporting those employees by helping with, you know, computer issues or any incidents that they have, they can open up those tickets directly against their assets by just having a dynamic drop down listing their assets. So I could actually go into our portal and see the laptops that I have on my desk or the devices I have on my desk right now and open up tickets against them. And then the internal agent will have all the information and all the historical issues that I've opened up with my laptop and be able to reference that in line. Now, ISOS technology, of course, comes in during our implementation and configures those automation rules and creates those portal forms and custom fields that those assets then fit into. And we make sure that works all seamlessly so that your agents are having those assets in that issue view and they can see everything regarding those assets. Uh, we also pull in the service registry uh, from your JSM project, and that is replicated within the Insight data modeling tool as well. So you have all those services and the interdependencies between those services and your hardware and software systems uh, so that you can see all of that within the tool as well. So we do the full gambit of configuration that is in regards to your asset management and all those configuration items within the tool. Thank you for joining Nick and I as we discussed Insight Asset Management today. If you'd like to check out some more information, feel free to check out our website at isostech.com.